Hello, welcome on this lab where we will install a new uh, domain controller on a server core. So you can see that actually I have one server, the name is SEA SVI1, and I don't have any GUI. This is quite, you know, interesting because we'll have less services, you know, less process, and it will be more secure, of course, and, and core is something that a lot of companies are using more and more. So when, you, when I'm here, if I want to do something on this server, I can install sconfig, run it, and it's helped me, for example, to you know, do a domain workgroup or a domain join, computer name, thing like that, okay? But what I need now, of course, what I need to do now is to install remotely and install uh, a domain controller on this new server uh, with a core. For that, I'm going to go on my admin machine, okay? This admin is uh, uh, a Windows uh, a Windows server. So let's type my password and let's go directly. So in this exercise, I will show you how to install a new uh, domain controller. Okay, so remember that uh, the first thing that I need to do is to uh, install the ADDS uh, binary file and after do a promote uh, as a, uh, you know, to promote a remote server and the remote server will be my server core. So I can do it by PowerShell or I can do it by GUI, okay? So let's go directly to server manager and I will add my, I will add this server, okay? So this one. So I'm gonna go here and manage uh, and uh, and here uh, I wanna go on, uh, on add server here and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do find now, I'm gonna take this one, add it here like this, and do okay. So, that's the first thing that, uh, of course, uh, I do. The, the, the only problem is that I must remotely install on this server, if I show you all server here, if I go on this one, you see that, you know, I cannot do anything, okay? I can install roles if I want, so first what we'll do is that uh, we will uh, go and, and start the installation of ADDS, so Active Directory Domain Services uh, on this server. Okay, so this is the first thing that I will do. And, and after that, I, I can promote this server as a domain controller. So I will go on this server, I'm gonna run PowerShell and remotely I will install, um, you know, the, the, the role, uh, ADDS role. So let me change the size so it's going to be more easy for you to follow my exercise. Okay, and now here I am on PowerShell. The first thing is that remotely I will install the ADDS server role. To do that, I will run this following command. Uh, the command will be uh, install Windows feature, name AD domain services, computer name, it will be this one, so the core services. The best practice is to do it remotely, of course. Okay, I'm gonna type enter and, uh, and okay, so I think that I have something. So oh, no, I know why, it's the name. So this is a parameter, okay? And I will install it on this server, remote server. So let's do enter, okay. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, and computer name, of course I need to add this here and that's it so now he will install remotely uh, all the files and the binary that i need and after i will promote it i will show you how to do it graphically and also with powershell cool so let's wait a minute okay so all has been done to be sure okay because i want to be sure that uh, all is installed correctly let's do a get windows feature and let's say uh, computer name, and let's see what is what is installed actually. Okay, I have a lot of thing here where you see an X is installed. Okay, so let's do a pipe, and let's do like a where installed, and you can see that now he will display only the what is installed and i have the active rhythm and services okay this is most this is very important okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go in server manager 
and uh, I will do a refresh. So let me, okay. If I do refresh now, of course, uh, he will add me, he will ask me to deploy a new domain controller, okay? So uh, um, I can see that I have now a notification here and I have promoted this server as a domain controller, okay? Why? Because he discovered that on this server, I have installed the binary for install active directory services. So I'm gonna go and promote here, okay? And on the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard on the Deployment Configuration page here, uh, I'm gonna select uh, Add a Domain Controller to an existing domain. That's good. I have here my Contoso, this is the name of my domain. And I will supply, of course, all information. Okay, so I'm going to do change here. And I will supply it, okay? So uh, the first thing is the name of my, uh, of my, um, uh, how do you say that? Of my domain admin here. And after, I will type my password. So, okay. Okay, that's good. So this is the first thing that you must do. Okay, it's very important. After that, I will do next. And on the option page, uh, uh, you must ensure that the DNS server and global catalog is checkbox, okay? So I check this is checked. And I will not use my uh, read-only domain controller. After that, I need to uh, set the password. Uh, so this is the uh, directory service restore mode password is if you have an issue, can restore the active directory on this server. So let's type my password. Okay. Oh, let me try. I'm not sure about that. And that's it. Now I do next. On the DNS option, I will do next. And here he will ask me some information about the replication. Install from media. This is good. If, for example, my DC is uh, very far away, I can take the plane on a USB key and install the directory where when when it will be on premise. This is quite old, so you know it's not very uh, often that you use this option. I'm going to do next now. And now something's nice is that if I do next, you can see that I have a view script. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that. I can do next, 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 you know, and if I do next and, you know, uh, install it, uh, he will, uh, you know, install my domain controller. So, of course, what I can do is that uh, he's doing, he's checking the prerequisites on my DC. Uh, I can just, you know, install everything. Uh, this is the first way that you can install a domain controller, okay? But you can do it also with a script if you want. So he has checked everything. Just to show you, if you want to do with PowerShell, okay, you have view script here. View script here, uh, you can take all these scripts and you can run it remotely. So for example, imagine that I save this script. So I take this script and I save it. Uh, what I can do is that I can go here on my PowerShell here and I can also do it remotely with an invoke command. So I can do like invoke uh, command Uh, and I can I can type like this line and after that I can say like for example computer name I can type this one s, s so it's s e a s v r one and after I can uh, inside um, inside the bracket here I can you know just uh, do install AD domains controller. So if I show you, so uh, if I do view my script, so uh, I can take this line, do a copy and put it inside it, okay? If you do that, uh, he can install my domain controller with the same line that I have here, okay? So uh, uh, this is possible. In my case, I will directly um, so I do next here and I will directly install on my, I will install, of course, I will promote the server as a new domain controller. So I will do it graphically, but you can do it with PowerShell. So I can do install now 
and uh, in a couple of minutes he will reboot the server. And now I can see that this server has was successfully configured as a domain controller. I'm going to close, and of course uh, he will reboot it. Okay, so if I go here, uh, he will do a reboot of this server. Okay. Uh, and he says that please wait for the executory domain services. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a little and in, in a couple of seconds this server will, will be promoted as a new domain controller. Okay, so this is really the uh, the way that you install a new domain controller. Okay. So I'm gonna wait a little and when it's finished, I will come back on the screen. So this server has rebooted. Okay, so that's good. So if I go back here to my uh, uh, admin server, I can check that I have a new domain controller, okay? And if I don't have any more the promotes, okay? This is a good, uh, uh, this is a good uh, news, okay? I can go also in server manager tools. I can go in user and computer, and I can go directly to my uh, domain controller. I can see I have a new one, okay? So the job has been done. Uh, Okay, I can even go back here to this server. Let me show you. So let me type the password. And I can see now this core has now, it's a domain controller, okay? To be sure about it, what I can do is that I can turn that off. I can tap PowerShell. And if I do a get Windows future, Okay, I can see that my Active Directory has been installed correctly and that uh, this server is a domain controller, okay? Uh, to be sure about that, okay, what you can do is that you can go on on uh, Windows, you can go on uh, on, on system, system here, for Sysvol, sorry. And if you go here, you can see that I have domain I have also Sysvol when I, when I have all my GPO here, okay? So if I go in Contoso, I can see that all my GPO and my screen will be here. So he's now a domain controller. I can also go to see if I have my database installed. So if I go on, on here, let's go back here and do a CD uh, NTDS. Okay, I can see that I have my database. My database is this one, okay? So this is the same one. And of course, I have the same one here. Why? Because I am a domain controller and that automatically he will replicate my activatory database. So if I have the same one here. So if I go here on my um, Explorer, if I go here on Windows, I can see that I have MTDS here. Uh, where is it? So uh, I will have my Windows NTDS. Oh, sorry, it's on my DC, sorry. So here's my DC, my first DC. So this is the first one. So if I tap again my password, okay, I can see that on the server. Okay, let's go to sconfig, so let's do that. So this is my first DC. And if I go back in CD Windows, I can do, go in NTDS and Bravo, I have exactly the same Active Directory uh, database between this one and this one, okay? So that was the first lab. Uh, so we just uh, installed a new domain controller on the server core. It was so easy. Thank you very much. Take care.